We are also following breaking news in Fort Lauderdale. CBS 4's Carrie Codd live outside the federal courthouse in Fort Lauderdale. Inside, a Chinese businesswoman found guilty of trespassing at President Trump's Mar-a-Lago Club was just sentenced. Carrie. That's right. The judge in this case just handed down a sentence of eight months to Yujing Zhang, convicted not only of trespassing at Mar-a-Lago, but also lying to federal agents. However, it appears that she's already served about eight months in lockup, so it's not exactly clear how much additional time, if any, she will serve. Now, in court today, federal prosecutors asked for Zhang to get a more uh, strict sentence, alleging that she lied to a federal judge about how much money she had and because of the seriousness of this particular case. Federal prosecutors said she lied repeatedly to get on the grounds at Mar-a-Lago in late March. Even knowing that the event was canceled, that she purportedly was trying to attend, but saying she had to go to the pool uh, in order to get entry onto the grounds. Prosecutors also said she had so many devices on her, including an electronic detection device, that that raised suspicions. They said they felt she had an agenda and was not just a misguided tourist. Now, Zhang's attorney said in court today that she did not have an agenda, that she, in fact, wanted some sort of partnership with President Trump because they both had real estate intentions. Now, she also said that Zhang had a number of devices and a detect detention, a detection device, rather, for her safety. Now, Zhang did speak briefly in court, and she said that she simply wanted to be friends with Trump and the Trump family. Uh, the judge, however, uh, said that this was more evidence of her continuing to tell lies and that he felt this was a very serious offense with overwhelming evidence. And he did go a little bit above the sentencing guidelines, which called for her to get somewhere between zero and six months. However, he said she, since she's already served about eight months, that he felt that was an appropriate sentence. Still some questions to be sorted out here. Obviously, it was obvious from court today, rather, that lots of people still have a lot of questions about what her intentions truly were when she went to Mar-a-Lago that day back in March. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.